So, welcome back to my channel. My name is Claudia. Uh, I want to apologize for my red nose. Uh, it looks terrible, but I have to make this video because I'm so excited about Tesla's number coming out this morning and I was hoping this would happen. So, um, we'll talk about Tesla's uh, delivery and production numbers and then we'll talk a little bit about the Cybertruck having its first accident and we'll talk about the robot attacking an employee. So, let's do this. So, welcome back to my channel where I give you the latest Tesla news. Elon mentioned last week that FSD V12 is doing extremely well in California. Musk mentioned that it's doing well in California, but it needs more training. So the company is running extra testing on the new version of the software as it has a different architecture from the previous versions of FSD. On December 28, Elon Musk expressed dismay at the report of an alleged robot attack an employee at the Tesla's Gigafactory in Texas, sinking its metal claws into the worker's back and arm. Now, Tesla's fans have expressed disagreement with the report on X. The accident actually occurred two years ago in 2021, and the word attack might be uh, wrong given the robots do not actively make decisions. It was not the humanoid robot Optimus, but a KUKA robot from Germany. These KUKA robots are for car assembly and other factory work and was malfunctioning. Truly shameful of the media to dredge up injuries from two years ago due to a simple KUKA robot arm implying it was Optimus, Elon said. So, on Sunday, the news reported the first Cybertruck crash. The California Highway Patrol confirmed the accident involving the newest vehicle from Tesla and a Toyota Corolla. Not sure if you've seen the picture, but I would feel pretty safe driving a Cybertruck. Toyota? Hmm, not so much. So today, Tuesday, January 2nd, Tesla will step up to offer free supercharging for one week in Japan's earthquake hit region. Tesla supercharger in the Hukuriko area in Japan will be available free of charge for one week following the devastating earthquake on New Year's Day. So here comes the numbers. In Q4, Tesla says, we produced 495,000 vehicles and delivered over 484,000 vehicles in 2023. Vehicle deliveries grew 38% year over year to 1.81 million, while production grew 35% year over year to 1.85 million vehicles. Market Watch, Tesla INC delivered 484,507 vehicles in Q4 after producing 494,989 vehicles. Fact set consensus was for deliveries to a total of 473,000 vehicles for the period. For all of 2023, deliveries grew 38% to 1.81 million vehicles. And if you like this kind of content, please like, subscribe and turn on your notifications so you won't miss another video. In the fourth quarter, the electric car maker delivered 461,538 Model 3 and Model Ys and 22,969 other models. The company will post the full fourth quarter earnings on January 24th. Tesla's fourth quarter production and delivers accelerated, topping Wall Street analysts' expectations. The quarterly readout also marks a re-acceleration in production and deliveries after planned downtime caused a sequential slowdown in the third quarter. Dow Jones Newswire. Tesla delivered 1.81 million cars globally in 2023, hitting its full year target. The figure was 38% higher than the previous year. Fourth quarter deliveries rose 20% year over year. BYD is closing in on Tesla in China. BYD reported selling nearly 1.6 million EVs in 2023. My personal opinion is that Tesla is not just a car company. It is a disruptive, innovative 
technology company. BYD is a car company. Of course, Tesla will lose some tax credits due to the parts coming from China, but we will go through that in details in the next video. Are better than expected numbers from Tesla in terms of topping its own guidance, as well as better than what analysts were expecting. Let's start first off with Q4 deliveries of 484,507 vehicles. The street was expecting closer to 473,000, so better than analyst expectations. And because of those deliveries topping 475,000, they topped their full year delivery guidance of 1.8 million vehicles. Officially, it's 1.808 in terms of 1,808,000 vehicles delivered in 2023, an increase of 38%. And again, the street guidance, or I shouldn't say, I should say Tesla's guidance was for delivering 1.8 million vehicles. By the way, fourth quarter production, just under 495,000 vehicles. We will get the fourth quarter and full year financial results after the bell on the 24th of this month. So what? What, three weeks away in terms of when we hear from Elon Musk in terms of the setup. And that's also, by the way, guys, when we are likely to get the company's guidance for deliveries for 2024. That's when we will probably get them uh, again three weeks from now. So thank you so much for being here. And uh, my name is Claudia. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.